Welcome to the Rig and Farm YouTube channel. In this video, we'll show you how we transformed our 5x8 utility trailer into a 5x8x4 livestock trailer. This modification costs less than $200 and is capable of being uninstalled and reinstalled in just a few minutes. The entire build only took a few hours with Ashley and I working together. She was an excellent assistant slash camera lady. The first thing we did was move the trailer into the shade to keep from getting a heat stroke. The parts list for this project included four 8 feet long pieces of 5 quarter by 6 boards, a 10 feet long piece of 5 quarter by 6 cut in half, two 8 feet long 2 by 4s, two 48 inch pieces of 1 8 inch thick angle iron, four U-bolts, a box of screws, and four pieces of 8 feet long cattle panel. Now that everything is unloaded, let's head over to our miter saw to cut all our lumber. We also had to make some 45 degree angle cuts for a few pieces that you'll see soon. Once everything had been measured and was cut, we went back to start assembly. The concept for this modification is to create a wooden frame that sandwiches the cattle panels between two pieces of 5 quarter board. The angle iron will be used to support the corners on the hitch side of the trailer. The entire thing will be held onto the trailer with the U-bolts, so all you need to do for removal is unscrew the bolts and slide it out. Once the outer boards were in place, we held them together with screws. We had to cut a section of one of the panels to fit between the panels on the sides of the trailer. We used the U-bolts to temporarily hold the panels in place. Next, we screwed a piece of 5 quarter board into the other board to keep the paddle panel in place. If you look between the two pieces of lumber, you'll see that the screw placement is just above the wire. That will prevent it from lifting up. We screwed a 4 foot piece of 2x4 vertically above the axle. Two vertical pieces with a cross piece and bracing will provide strong support for the cattle panels. We made this cage three-sided because the tailgate will act as the fourth wall. Barbed staples were hammered into the 2x4s to keep the panels secure to the frame. We placed the final piece of cattle panel on top to create a roof. It's unlikely that the pigs will be able to escape if it didn't have a roof, but it will add additional support that keep them from bending the walls outward. 14 gauge wire was used to hold the panels together. Now it's time to add the bolts on the four corners to keep the cage in place. It's the moment of truth. Will it hold together while it's towed to the pig area? It's extremely stable. These guys are about 300 pounds each and they have plenty of room and can't bust out of the trailer. We loaded them the night before being butchered and attached the trailer to our car to make for an easy morning. They survived the night without damaging the trailer. This guy's still sleepy. The trailer held up perfectly on the 21 mile drive. This $180 build was much more affordable than buying a separate livestock trailer, plus the additional license plate, when taking two of our pigs to the butcher. Thanks for watching, and feel free to ask questions in the comments. We'll see you next time!